Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm leading you through a full body workout without equipment that's apartment friendly, meaning that we're not gonna be making any noise, we're not gonna be jumping, and you can also do this workout in a small space. So if you feel limited working out at home, this is the workout for you. Just make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we're gonna be working in sets of two today. So your first exercise in this first superset is a double pulse squat. So you're gonna come down into your squat position, you're gonna pulse, and then you're gonna come back up. When you're coming back up in your squat, you're not hinging your hips forward. You're gonna keep the body angled slightly forward, keep the knees slightly bent, keep the tension on the glutes. Make sure you're coming all the way down in your squat, staying nice and low as you do that pulse. Nice work. We're taking a 15 second rest. All of our exercises today are going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Nice and simple. Your second exercise in this first superset is you're going to do a rise up on your tippy toes and then you're going to lean forward and touch opposite toe. So coming up and over. As you're coming up on your toes, make sure you're stretching those legs all the way and you're squeezing those inner thighs together so your legs are working the whole time. When you come down to touch your toe, you're hinging at the hips and you should feel those glutes fire up before you stand up. Nice work, 15 second rest. We're gonna repeat those two exercises before we move on to our next set. So starting off with our double pulse squats. Stay nice and low, 20 more seconds. Nice work, 15 second rest, shake out those legs. Doing our rise to toe touch. Make sure this rise is nice and explosive. You're stretching those legs, stretching those quads, making sure those quads are engaged. Here we go. As you come down to touch the toe, think about sitting back into your heel. That will help you feel it a little bit more in those glutes. Nice work, we're gonna move on to our next set of two exercises. We'll give our legs a little bit of a rest. We're gonna do some modified burpees. So fingertips are by the ears. You're going to come up, rise up on your tippy toes, come down, hands touch the mat, step it out, step it in. From here, you're gonna sink the booty down, sit into those heels, come up. So you really feel those glutes fire up as you stand up to that rise. Make sure when you come down into your plank, you're in a straight line. Your butt is not up here. 
We're coming down into a plank, making sure that core is nice and fired up. Nice work. Your second exercise is some lunges. And we're gonna do a double pulse reverse lunge. So you're gonna step back into a reverse lunge. Here, make sure you hit this position. Pulse, up, and switch. So stepping back, pulse, press through the heel to stand up. Make sure your legs are both at 90 degree angles when you come back down here. You're not too far over the toes here and you're not stepping out into like this massive lunge. Keep it nice and tight. Think about keeping the body angled forward so the pressure's on that glute. Press through that heel to stand up. Nice work. Shake out those legs. We're gonna do that again, starting off with our modified burpees. Nice work. One more round of reverse lunges. Few more seconds, press through those heels. Nice work. We're gonna head to the ground. Now we're actually gonna give our legs a little bit of a rest. So your first exercise in this third superset is some push-ups. So you can do these push-ups on your toes, on your knees, or you can do some half push-ups, which look like this. When you're on your knees, you're gonna slowly lower yourself down, nice and slow. Drop the belly, extend the arms, back in by your sides, and then push yourself back up. Good work, you're gonna come onto your back for your next exercise. We're going to do some elbow to knee crunches. So you're gonna lift that booty up off the floor, rotate that pelvis and press that lower back down into the floor. You should already feel your lower abs engaging. From here, you're going to lift one elbow to meet the knee and then switch.
So legs are bent, lower back is pressed into the floor the entire time. Make sure you're not pulling on your neck. Fingertips are just there to help support the head a tiny little bit. Nice work, flipping it back over. Here we go, last round of push-ups. Take these slow if you have to. work coming back on our backs remember to lift the booty up tuck the pelvis under press that low back into the floor before you begin here we go Get those shoulder blades up off the floor. The elbow and the knee should be meeting in the center. Nice work, flipping it over. Next up, we're going to do some mountain climbers for 45 seconds. If you feel like you cannot do mountain climbers for 45 seconds, you're still going to stay in this plank position, except you're just going to tap the toe in. So you're actually touching the mat down with those toes. You're staying in a flat line. This is a great way to modify. And this is your standard mountain climber that we're gonna do for 45 seconds. work come on your back we're going to do some glute bridges next so same thing like with those elbow to knee crunches you're focusing on pressing the lower back into the floor in between each rep you're gonna come up in your glute bridge from here you're gonna hold your hips where they are bring one leg up lower and then lower the hips so as you bring that leg up, your hips should not be dropping here. If you find that you are dropping your hips, then I want you to just do standard glute bridges, hold for a hot second at the top, and then lower down. Nice work, flipping it over. We're gonna do mountain climbers for our second round. Just tell yourself it's only 45 seconds. I can do this, that's what I'm telling myself. 
Make sure you're keeping those booties down. Your shoulders are stacked over top of your elbows. Your elbows are stacked over top of your wrists. work on your back. Here we go, glute bridges with that leg raise. Take these slow if you have to. Make sure you're not dropping those hips even when you're bringing the leg back down. And then remembering to press the lower back into the floor in between each rep. Nice work. We're going to sit up. This is our final superset. You're going to do a tricep dip, so you're gonna come into a reverse bridge position, lifting the hips. From here, you're going to bend the elbows, coming down, sitting into the heels of your hands. Press it up, then from here, you're going to press the hips all the way up. Bring one leg up, just like we were doing in that glute bridge. You can also just remove the leg lift and just do tricep dips here. Nice work, we're gonna stand up. Your last exercise is a sumo squat with a rise. So legs a little bit further than your regular squat stance and your toes are pointed outward. Coming down into a squat all the way down as you come up, you're rising up on those tippy toes, stretching those legs, squeezing those inner thighs together. If you want the vision, get the spinning. My mama told me trust in God, it's never limits. Now I'm on the score. Make sure you're sitting into those heels as you come down into the squat. Early bird gets the worm in the Yankee fitted. Like bags under my eyes, and you know. Won't complain, I'm tired, I'm on go. For that grip, ten toes till they swole. For that grip, ten toes till they swole. Remember those days, those L's, I couldn't sleep right now. I get paid, vacay, I'm staying beside. Breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy. Good work. To the ground. This is our last round, doing tricep dips. If you can't fully master the tricep dip, then do not add the leg lift. Just focus on those triceps. So sitting into the heels of your hands, just focusing on bending the arms. Don't think about your lower half and stretch. Bend and stretch, really feel it in those triceps. Nice work, this is our last interval. So 
as you're coming down into your squat, the weight is into your heels. As you're coming up from your squat, you're transferring that weight into your toes and thinking about squeezing your legs almost as if they're a zipper. So coming down. Again, take this slow if you have to. Make sure you're coming all the way up on those toes. And that is it guys, great job. I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute full body workout that you can do in a small space, no noise, no jumping. If you did, you wanna see more of this style, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Also let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I will see you guys very soon, bye.